Hello friends I am Bharat Sharma from Steady Die Casting Solutions. Steady Die Casting Solutions always stand with you for your all die casting solutions. Today we talk about background on shrinkage or you can say type of shrinkage and die casting. So let's start. The shrinkage can be divided into three phases. 1. Shrinkage occurring as the liquid cools. 2. Shrinkage that occurs during solidification. And 3. Shrinkage as the solid casting cools to room temperature. These are each discussed in more detail. Let's discuss first type of shrinkage. The liquid metal will shrink as it cools from the pouring temperature to its melting liquidus temperature. The amount of shrinkage that occurs is only small, and is easily compensated by supplying a slightly larger amount of liquid during pouring. Most casters are not aware they are doing this, and this type of shrinkage is therefore of negligible interest. Now let's discuss about second type of shrinkage. All alloys of interest to die casters occupy a larger volume when liquid as compared to solid. Therefore, as the alloy solidifies in the casting mold, shrinkage will occur. The shrinkage does not simply occur by the outside dimensions of the casting contracting as the casting solidifies. Unfortunately solidification shrinkage is a more negative effect. The first part of the casting to solidify will be the surface layer contacting the mold walls and so early in the solidification process the outside dimensions of the casting are established, and will only change slightly during the remainder of the cooling process. As the casting cools and solidification continues, the thickness of the solid layer at the surface of the casting will thicken, and eventually, close to the end of the solidification process there will be insufficient metal to fill the casting. This results in holes shrinkage porosity in the casting, which are generally located towards its center. Let's discuss about third type of shrinkage. Once the casting is fully solid and ejected from the casting mold, the casting will continue to contract as it cools to room temperature. This solid phase shrinkage is typically called pattern maker's shrinkage, and is normally compensated for by making the die cavity slightly larger. For aluminum alloys, pattern maker's shrinkage is about 0.6%. Therefore, of these three types of shrinkage, liquid, solidification and pattern makers, the only one that die casters need to control during the production of castings is the shrinkage porosity that occurs during solidification. Thank you very much to keep watching our videos, keep learning till death.